this is Zoe with Nappy Chef and my little brother. Hello. And today we're helping my dad make Good calamari. afternoon everyone. This is Shane, your Nappy Chef. So today I'm going to show you how to make Jamaican calamari. So the first thing that we're going to do, Zoe, stand up so you can get a, a good shot of this. Okay, Dad. Okay. So we're going to start off with just some um, squid. And the first thing you have to do is, is clean it. Come over here, Zoe, so you're not in the, the light. Okay. Okay. So what you want to do is first thing you're going to do is you're going to pull the, all the tentacles out of the, the tube. And it should come out really easy. That's it. Then on the inside here, there's a um, little, I forget what you call it. It feels like a little plastic piece. Um, cartilage. That's all that is. So you just pull that out. Okay. And then for these little wings, uh, you could leave them on, but just do it the right way. We'll go ahead and cut those off. So you can't, them, go ahead. So you can't eat the wings? You can't eat them. We might fry them up, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. So then you just want to take the, uh, the membrane that's covering the, uh, the tube and just peel it off. It comes off really easy. Okay, very simple. Alright. Yeah, so that should start looking more familiar to what you're seeing in the restaurant. Okay, so then here, the tentacles are actually the most delicious part to me. So what you want to do is, right behind the, the eyes, is you're going to cut. Okay? Set that to the side. On the inside of here, you want to fill around for the little beak. Just kind of push that out. So you don't want to bite into that because that'd be really tough. Set that to the side. So you're all done with that part. Now, with the tube, you're just going to cut it into little uh, one inch strips, like that. Really easy. Uh, you set that to the side in a bowl, and um, I'll show you how to make the batter in a little bit. So now what we're going to do is batter our uh, calamari. So all this is is a mixture of uh, white flour, oregano, salt, pepper, garlic, chili powder, and red pepper. So and all you want to do is taste it, and you know if it's spicy or salty, and that's how you you know make a batter that you like. So we're just gonna dust it and then we're gonna fry them up. When you cook it, the main thing is that you want to cook it very fast. So you want to make sure that your heat your uh, oil is at a very high temperature and you're only gonna put it in here for a, a minute. So I'm gonna try to get this right. We're just going to make a, uh, a quick guacamole. So you just need a ripe um, avocado. This one's really ripe. Okay, and you want to try to preserve the the skin because we're going to use this as a part of our presentation. So you don't want to go too deep. Okay. Got most of it. And you want to leave this as a, as a little container. All right. So, just some rice wine, rice wine vinegar. Not too much, just a little bit. A little salt. Not too much, just a little bit. Some black pepper. And if you want to add tomatoes, you can. I don't have any, so we're not going to add any. And some red pepper flakes to give it a little bit of a kick. Now what we're going to do is blend it. Mix that up. Okay, you put on. okay so now our, our guacamole is ready. You always want to taste it. Mm, you want to taste the dye? Sure. Okay. 
Pretty good? Yeah. All right. So now, what we're going to do is take your guacamole and you're going to put it back into the, uh, into the shell. Just like that. And you can see that the, the guacamole, I didn't blend it because I still wanted it to be, uh, you know, kind of rough. Right? I'm going to set that there. Now, we're going to take some of our calamari and we're going to put it right into the guacamole, just like that. Just like that. All right. Now, you're ready to taste it. Let me get a spoon here. Ah. So I'm going to get a little guacamole and a little calamari. Oh, wow. This is awesome. So if you see this in a restaurant someplace, they stole it from the nappy chef. Thanks a lot, everybody.